Hello everyone, this is Sajjad. I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Trade with Asim and Sajjad. I'm here with the weekly analysis. Uh, before we start, let's uh, have a look at the economic calendar for the coming week. Uh, this week there are lots of lots of news uh, starting from Monday. If you can see, uh, it's uh, core retail sales MOM, then retail sales MOM. Uh, Tuesday we have some uh, Chinese yuan uh, news, Australian dollar, then GBP news, uh, Euro and USD, Canadian dollar. Then Wednesday we have uh, some uh, uh, JPY data uh, had, uh, following with the GBP and then Canadian dollar, Euro. Also on Thursday you can see uh, New Zealand dollar uh, data. Uh, it's very important then GBP also important and then for the US dollar uh, also this uh, FOMC uh, speech can just bring a little bit of volatility uh, then on Friday uh, mainly uh, Canadian data and this is very important guys if you uh, note down somewhere uh, Canadian pairs can bring uh, a very high volatility so if you are lucky to catch up with these trades uh, you will be very happy with that so let's move to our pairs now first of all a US dollar currency index and if uh, this is the daily chart and if you can see uh, dollar is just trying to get some strength uh, politically things are very confusing uh, anything can happen on Monday though Mondays are very slower but this coming Monday can be crucial we might see the market opens with a gap up or gap down uh, all depending on the political uh, stability or things about the Syrian conflict these days US uh, government is involved in that so it can uh, bring some volatility in the US dollar and its uh, pairs so uh, in case it gets stronger so it's heading to 90.59 and above area it, here it's a very strong resistance area for that and uh, if it breaks then it will go much higher and uh, but for me it looks like uh, it's a start of a uh, bearish trend and maybe it can start trickling down and it this week it might touch 88.95 and below uh, if that happens then the euro and all other pairs are supposed to go up uh, euro was doing well the whole week but then Thursday was a bit uh, a tough day for euro it came down all the way then but on Friday it tried and maintain its uh, lowest level and right now it's in a very interesting point but for me I'm mostly looking at the upper side and if it keeps going up it can go to 1.2468 and above area and uh, if dollar gets stronger then euro can come down to 1.2151 and below so let's hope uh, things go well for euro even if I can show you the 4 hour chart here it is on the 4 hour 2 it's looking like it's uh, just you know uh, trying to maintain its uh, lowest level and go up from here so we'll see on Monday how it goes let's move to GBP USD and GBP if you can see this is the yearly chart uh, daily chart but for the whole year and you can see it's been up and down up and down in this channel all the way right now it's in quite a good position to go to the highest and I'm looking around 1.4390 uh, this might be a very good uh, target and achievable uh, actually it's co quite near right now it's on 1.4243 so another 150 pips so mm, even on Monday or Tuesday it can touch then it's supposed to come down all the way if not then it can just start trickling down from Monday and it, it it's heading to 1.3965 this time 
even on the four hour you can see that the market is, is just it did so well and right now it's just retraced a bit and maybe it opens with a you know gap up and it starts going up so if you see the rsi rs is uh, indicating for the downward but the momentum is so strong that it might just change from here and it, it just go up and then from there it drops again so we will watch closely and i'm uh, i have few pending orders if you want you can also have a buy limit or sell limit sorry sell limit order at one point four three and above area so be be careful with gbp pairs moving to usd jpy jp usd jpy is doing so well for the last three weeks actually if uh, i can show you the weekly chart here it is and all these three weeks it just you know went up so nicely and right now it's in quite good position i'm looking at uh, 108.86 and above area this week and in case it comes down then it it will try to come down again to 105.61 area and from here it just might you know start a bounce back so it's it's good to long actually but with a, a tight stop loss uh, just keep in mind that even the this daily a candle is indicating you know or a tr trend reversal or maybe a sideways but even sometimes this kind of candle uh, the next candle starts going up and until here and then it starts uh, dropping again so don't just short it uh, on monday i just uh, confirm the direction first and then enter again uh, we move to usd chf and usd chf on the daily is also looking good it's going all the way you know just making higher high and higher lows and if we can see the previous structures uh, it's just uh, it's just retraced and now it's going up but basically it will depend how the us dollar behaves uh, next week uh, normally usd chf uh, directly correlates with the dollar index so if it goes down then usd chf follows so we might see a drop in the usd chf and but from here definitely it's a strong uh, uh, support area it can bounce back and if this time it goes up then it's heading 2.97 three three and above even uh, let's say 9.9830 9 is very possible but it might take a few days heading to usd cad usd cad uh, well dropped uh, badly last week and right now it's on the support area just trying to maintain this level and for me it can be like a bearish flag it can just you know go sideways for the next couple of days and then drop to 1.2387 also depending on the oil prices if oil prices keep going up this pair will definitely come down but if things get uh, worse then it it's supposed to go up and if this time it goes up then it's heading to 1.2927 let's move to Australian dollar USD and if you can have a look at it uh, Australian dollar did so well you know after this uh, sideways uh, week then it just trying to go up though on friday the price got rejected from here it came down all the way but even now it, it looks a bit stronger i will show you the four hour chart and here it is uh, on the four hour it's quite strong it went up then uh, went sideways going up again for me it's a kind of retracement and it's supposed to go up from here where anything is possible uh, even on the weekly i can show you here it is and on the weekly you can say like for three weeks it, it just uh, uh, was on the support area then last week it did well and come came up all the way and right now it's a very strong uh, bullish candle weekly and uh, i'm looking at 0.7897 area uh, by the end of uh, next week uh, Monday evening we might see or before that we might see this target and then take it will start coming down 
on the daily here it is so I'm looking at this area actually 0 0.7897 and above and if it, it gets weaker then it might come to 0.7648 same goes with the New Zealand dollar New Zealand dollar is uh, much better uh, position than Australian dollar it did well all the week and only the Friday was uh, it, it closed in red although it was it looked very strong in the morning it went all it went up all the way but then it closed in red so can be we can see a few red candles Monday Tuesday Wednesday and then it, it just can fly back again and we will see that uh, if it goes up the target might be 0 0.7443 in above and if it just keeps going down and uh, we can see 0 0.7241 in below area so our last pair gold gold has been just trying hard only Thursday was uh, weaker for the gold it went all the way uh, from Monday uh, until Thursday uh, Wednesday then on Thursday it, it got weaker but on Friday it did well and tried to go up so if the dollar is uh, weaker uh, next week then we m this time we can aim at uh, 1375 and above this will be a very good uh, move by uh, gold and actually i have both pending orders uh, buy stops and sell stop and from 1375 i'll be looking to short from this area and uh, this time it can be a very big drop so be uh, attentive and write down somewhere uh, these are very good levels to trade with and in case it comes down to 13 or 2 then from here it's very good uh, uh, entry for a buy and uh, let's see what happens next week so this is all uh, for the next week and I wish you a very profitable week uh, please trade with care and I'll see you on Monday with a new video until then take care and bye bye